topics. Indeed, guys. Let's uh, talk about that and the tech sell-off sell -off in general with Bob Peck, chairman of Global Internet Investment Banking at Barclays. Bob, welcome back. Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks again for having me. Looking forward to finally getting live with you on the desk, hopefully soon. Yeah, we're going to get there, believe me, um, sooner rather than later. As far as crypto goes, Bob, um, I mean, the correction itself on a percentage basis is something historically you kind of have to get be accustomed to at this point. But the number of dollars affected is different. What do you think that means? Yeah, so the, volatil the volatility you're seeing in crypto and the volatility you're seeing in markets, inflation, interest rates is also something our clients are looking at very closely. Yeah, as you know, right now for our tech clients, it, you're in one of these mega trend cycles where it's never been easier to start, scale, and quite honestly, even fund your company, your idea from beginning to a scaled asset. As we think about this volatil uh, volatility, and we look at it you know, every single day and talk about it with our clients, you know, what, what does it mean ultimately to the IPO market? How should we think about you know, going at a traditional IPO? And so one of the things we do, we talk to our clients about is, let's pull the lens back a little bit. And let's think about inflation and interest rates for a second. As you know, the 10-year has, has bobbed in between one and a half and 3%, you know, basically besides the recent dip during COVID, you know, since 2011, 2012. So you've had to go back and forth in that channel. And as you know, for that period of time for stocks, it's been an amazing run for stocks, right? And in fact, if we look at 2019 as maybe the most recent example of, uh, of having it bounce around in that range, what did it mean for the tech IPOs and was the IPO market actually open for them? Well, in 2019, you had about 20 IPOs. Um, those IPOs popped north of 35%, up over 100% today. A strong valuation metrics at double digits on, on a revenue basis. So we really didn't see it impact the 2019 IPO market. So we think the IPO market is one of the many options that our clients still have right now, even if interest rates go up. And, and also we think interest rates would also have an impact on things like a SPACs, direct listings, or other funding mechanisms that our companies could pursue. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, it's a little bit far afield for a tech show, but we are definitely paying attention, Bob, to the downside correction and some of those um, what the Fed would argue are transitory inflationary signals in, say, commodities. If those came down and stayed down and the Fed's view about transitory panned out, I wonder, would that set a, a new a new wave of IPO windows, uh, VC dollars and the like? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you just hit on a couple of key things right there. One, as a private tech company, you have so many options for funding right now. You hit on VC, which is a big one, right? Obviously, you could IPO. Obviously, you could de-SPAC now. And what we think is interesting on the SPAC side is that, you know, there's 400 active SPACs out there right now with over $120 billion of value, right? So they're looking for, for rich targets. And for these targets, as the, as the markets bounce around a little bit here, do entrepreneurs become maybe a little more grounded in their valuation expectation? And what could that therefore do? Well, that could kick off a wave of de-SPACing. Um, as their view, as the entrepreneur's view of valuation, maybe more aligns with the pipe market. As you know, the pipe market's been a little stuck over the last couple of, of weeks, months. And we see that sort of coming through here. And you're seeing a wave of de-spacking or another way of getting public and getting capital happening over the next 12, 18 months.